Hi guys, today um, uh, Christian and I are just going to go through a Jujutami from when your opponent's down in turtle, okay? Um, pretty much when your opponent's in turtle, you want to make sure you get a hook in, okay? So you want to make sure you get a hook in. That's the first step. Second step is my opponent's arm is going to be very tight against you, so you've got to try to create a reaction to, to get it, okay? So the reaction can be a quick pull up to get the arm in, okay? Once I have an arm past his hand, okay, with this hand I'm going to post and I'm going to drive my other foot through me on the head here and I put this hand on my thigh, okay? From here, my other foot is going to come through, so I'm hooking his thigh there. Now from here, I want to swap hands and put it on my thigh because my opponent's going to be keeping his arm in tight. I need it tight. Now I'm going to turn my body so I'm facing his legs. And from here, his arm's nearly out. If it's out, I put the arm bar on. If it's really tight, I scissor my legs. I can use my hand if I need to, okay? But I don't grab the close leg. I can to pull him closer, but I grab the far leg here and I'll do a big circle around my head. Big circle, scissor my legs, come up into Jujigatami. So again, my partner's going to be in, in turtle, okay? I need to get a hook in. There's a couple of different ways you can get a hook in. If your opponent's loose, I can throw my foot straight in. But if he's looking pretty tight, what I might have to do is get his knee and pull it out. Because no one really th thinks of squeezing their knees together when you're in turtle. They just think about arms and covering the neck and all the rest of it. So if he's in tight, can't get the hook in, pull and put it in. Now I'm in a good position for other attacks as well. Most Another thing that people kind of do wrong is they use this hand to go here. And it looks really nice and it's really fluid and, and, and it looks nice, you know, coming in, posting here, throwing this. But the fact of the matter is, if, if my opponent's just landed, so, and his hands are out, and he goes to tighten up, so go again. If I go this way and tighten up, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. Although it's smoother when you do it in, in uh, Uchikomi and training, the fact of the matter is, if his arm's out, I need, and if it's out here, go put it out. And he's, if I go back the back way and he tightens it up, I'm going to catch it. The only bad thing now is it's quite awkward to change hands, but now I've got it. Opposed to doing it the other way and missing it altogether. So it's really important to get your hook in and to attack from this direction to cut him off, opposed to trying to chase the arm and probably miss it. Okay, so I've got my hook in and I'm low on my opponent. Okay, I'm low on him. Bottom arm's going to come through. And I'm posting, on hit, posting with my left hand and my head. Don't dive your head into the mat though and hurt yourself. Okay? Um, this foot is going to come through just to here. So I'm here. He's too tight. I'm going to pull his knee out. Enter. Here. I put my arm through. I'm going to post and push this foot through here. So I'm hooking on his, on his body. There. This knee on the head. So my shin is on the back of his head. Go back to here. Go a little bit this way. Here. There. Get the knee on top of the head. Foot through. Now here I change arms. And the reason I change arms is because if I turn my body, I've got nothing to reach with if I, if I need help. But if I change arms, put it on my thigh, or I can grab my own knee. You can come over here, Sam. That's it. So if I'm posting on my head, hold your arm in tightly. I can either put on my thigh or grab my own gear. I like the thigh because it's not no fumbling. Turn to face his legs. See he's already off balance. And now I can scissor my legs or use my arm. Scissor, catch, so that he can't sit up. Now I can finish by here and then get his arm out. So there's a Jujigatami from Turtle, um, just going over some key points. You have to get your hook in or it's not going to work, and you're going to attack coming in through the back way. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next week.